We've got a bit of a video now about uh, place value. So we're going to show you how to read and write numbers that are bigger than 10 and all the way up into the hundreds. Okay, so a number like uh, 194, you'll be able to write that and work out what it's made out of. Now for this activity, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a dice, whiteboard, 10-sided um, die actually, whiteboard, and something to write on the whiteboard along with something to rub it off. Now, if you don't have all those things, it's okay <laughs> because a lot of people wouldn't. So I've showed you what I've done to try to make some of these things. Don't have a whiteboard? Okay, plastic sleeve, right? With a boring piece of paper, all right, inside it. Works as a whiteboard. Don't have a whiteboard rubber? Okay, tissue, easy. Don't have a textile? Uh, can't really help you there, sorry. <laughs> don't have a 10-sided die or die, sorry, because die is one. If you don't have one of those, look, I've picked up Uno cards. You could even just draw numbers, okay? So I've made sure that I've picked cards which have the numbers zero all the way up to nine on them somewhere, okay? So you could just pick a card from this pile and that would be exactly the same as a dice roll, okay? So if you don't have all the fancy equipment I mentioned before, that's one way around it, okay? All right, going to get your whiteboard and you're going to do this. So I'm just going to share my screen here, uh, my other camera, sorry, share my second camera. All right, so you can see my whiteboard here. Looks very white. <laughs> it looks like a board. It's just the piece of paper with the plastic sleeve. All right, I want you to draw this up. It's going to look a bit like noughts and crosses at first. Okay, hang on, I'll move it in view a bit better. Still getting used to using this thing. Okay, you got to draw something that looks like that. All right, um, pause if you need to, if you need some time to set up, all good. All right, and then in these uh, top sections, you're going to write these letters, a H, a T, and uh, an O, all right? Now, this is going to stand for your hundreds, your tens, and your ones, okay? This is place value. That's what we're going to learn today, all right? So this might be a little bit tricky to sort of think about, at first, but after a few examples, you'll get the hang of it. All right, now you're gonna take your dice and you're gonna roll them, okay? So I'm gonna just show you here, all right? I've got my cards, right? So I don't have a fancy die to roll, so I'm just gonna pick a random card, all right? And the top card that I pick is, oh, what's this? Looks like number nine. Yeah, that's number nine, you can tell because the line's underneath. If the line was um, the other way around, then you'd, you'd know it was number six. All right, so this is number nine, all right? So I've got to think about that number nine and I'm gonna pick another number two. All right, let's see. First one that comes is a number five, okay? So I've got a number nine and a number five, all right? Now switching over, okay? So you would have rolled two numbers as well. So whether it was the same, you might've got the same roll as me, but most likely you got different numbers, all right? Now I'm gonna put my first roll, I've got two numbers, okay? So if I've got two numbers, I'm gonna pick these two spaces here. Ooh, cut myself with a grade there in case you're wondering. I'm fine, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, my number nine is gonna go here and my number five is going to go here, okay? So I'm gonna write it in, a nine and a five, all right? Okay, now this is how you write a number in place value, okay? So this stands for tens, that's the T, how many tens are there? Well, there's nine of them. So if we count up by tens nine times, we're going to get this number, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, okay? So we've got 90. Okay, so another way we could write this is we could say that this is 90, okay? But then we've also got this ones, okay? We've got this five here, okay? So it's going to be five right? Not 50, just five, because it's in the ones column, right? Okay, so how would we write that? Well, this is a five, just like this. And we're going to add them together, because 90 plus five is equal to our number up here. Yeah. So what's this going to equal? Well, if I've got 90, and I count five more on, I'm going to get 95. Okay, so I encourage you Pause the video and have a go at rolling two numbers, okay? If you rolled, say, a six and then a four, it would be like this. 
just rub this off. See, works perfectly fine if you just use a tissue. Six and four, okay? And then this is all going to change. So it'd be 60 plus four equals 64, all right? That was another example, all right? So I want you to have a go at doing that yourself while I rub this off. All right, pause the video if you need some time. I want you to try to do maybe three examples on your own. So you're rolling two different numbers or picking up two different numbers if you're using cards like me. And if you don't have Uno cards, you can make your own out of paper. If you don't have a plastic sleeve, right? You can do this on a piece of paper. You just won't be able to rub things off. You'll have to use another spare bit of paper and that's fine. That's okay. All right. So you've paused, I hope, and you've given it a go. If you haven't, please do that now. All right. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up three cards and we're going to make a three digit number. Okay. So my first number, okay, I'm just going to shuffle these up. I'm not very good at shuffling, but I'm getting better. My first number is a number four. Might be hard to see, but it's my draw four card. Okay. So that's a four. All right. So I'm going to, at the same time, I'm going to put the four in the hundreds place. Okay, that's my first roll. All right, second number. I'm actually going to take the four. Actually, I'm going to leave the four in. You know why? Because I might want to roll again. I might pick a four a second time. It's unlikely, but it could happen. All right, and now we've got a zero. Oh, this is cool. So in the tens place, there's going to be a zero. Mysterious, okay. And then now in our hundreds place, let's see what we've got here. A hundreds place, <gasps> another zero? Unlikely, but it happens. Okay, now look at that number and I want you to pause and see if you could think of how would you say that number? What is that number? Well, let's break it down. We've got four hundreds, zero tens and zero ones. So we've just got four hundreds. So what's that? Well, the answer, pretty easy one, is just 400, okay? We rolled the number 400. All right, let's do one more. And I'm gonna make sure this time that I don't get zeros because that's gonna make it a little bit tricky to give you proper examples. So say if I didn't have zeros here, what if I had something else? What if I had, let's pick another number, oh, a zero again, I'll put that at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so that is a six. See where the line is? You can tell that's a six, not a nine. Okay, so six. So in the tens, we've got a six here. And in the ones, you notice I'm putting my uh, lid on my marker after every time I use it. <laughs> Just keeps, uh, keeps it nice and usable. Seven, all right. So seven is our next number. All right, lid off, seven, boom, lid on. Okay, so this number is not 400. Oh, well, it's not just 400. So let's break it down into its parts. We've got to look at this part here, the hundreds part. How many hundreds are there? Well, there's four of them. So how do we write 400? Well, we have the four, and then we have two zeros after it. To that, we're going to add our tens, okay? So how many tens do we have? Well, looks like six here. Okay, perfect. So six, six tens. How do we write six tens? Well, six tens is 60, right? So we need to add the zero. If we just write six, it's just six. It's not 60. That's way too low. All right, and going up here, how many ones do we have? Well, we have seven of those, okay? So we need to add this. And we've got seven there, okay? So it turns out that 400 plus 60 plus seven is going to equal our number of 467, okay? So equals... 467, and that's our answer, okay? So I want you to have a go at this. With, if you feel comfortable doing two numbers, okay? So with that, you'd be doing the tens and the ones. If you feel comfortable with that, that's where you start, okay? If you feel like you wanna do the three digits, so you wanna roll three numbers or pick up three cards or whatever it is, you do the hundreds, the tens and the ones, you go for it, you can do that, all right? Here's the thing you can do to make this interesting. You could roll the numbers and with a partner, have two different whiteboards like this, okay? 
and then see who can do it first. Okay, so you might raise somebody in your household if there's somebody living with you who wants to do this activity with you. If you're doing it by yourself, you could actually set a stopwatch, you know, a bit of a timer to see how long it takes you and see if you get a little bit faster. All right. Now, I want you to also let somebody know that you're doing this so they can check your work as you go, all right? Because you might be thinking you're doing it perfectly right, but you might be making some mistakes. But the main thing is, guys, I want you to have some fun. And remember, you don't always need the fancy dyes and like all the, all the whiteboards and things like that. Sometimes, you know, you can, what we call improvise. You can take something that looks uh, pretty basic and you can turn it into something that is very useful, very useful indeed, all right? So one thing I will say is you might want to rub this off within the next day, at least. You don't want to leave them around. Otherwise, uh, the texter, something to do with the texter starts to really stick to the, the, uh, the material in the plastic and it's hard to rub off after about a day, okay? Well, at least it is for me. Maybe, maybe it'll be different for you. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I will see you later and enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.